Alrighty guys, we are back with the Raymond Van Barnefield career mode here on Darts Pro Tour 2011. It's episode 3 and we are in Wolverhampton, the Grand Slam. For some reason, there's no group stage. It's just double in. First to, first to five legs. So, I mean, that's what they're doing. That's not how it is in real life, but screw it. We won't worry about that. You can see we're playing Mark Walsh. He's ranked 14th in the world, which is a shitload higher than us. 50 places higher than us. Can we beat him though? Let's see. We need to try and pick up a win here. We need to, I don't even think we're going to be in the, the World Championship this season unless we can potentially win this Grand Slam. I'm looking at the prize money available and I just it's going to be hard for us to you know, get high enough in the rankings, but we'll just try and win one game at a time. We'll have a look and we'll, we'll see what we need to do. Here we go, Grand Slam on ITV Sport. To be fair, it is kind of cool how they've got the nice wee... But then I suppose when you compare up to FIFA, I mean, FIFA's got everything. I mean, the least we can expect from from these games is to have... But also, I wonder why these games can't have the proper licensing, you know? I wonder why the players can come out in the tournaments with, like, the, the proper theme music, but this game you're not allowed to. It's a bit weird anyway. There's Mark Walsh. Looks nothing like fucking Mark Walsh. A guy that kind of just disappeared off the dark map, to be fair, but... It looks like we've got the throw, so let's see if we can use it and take advantage and... Oh, double in. Thank God I didn't throw for the triple 20 there. And straight away we start with a double top. And we're straight in. Let's see, Walsh's preferred double. Looks like it's double 16. And he gets off first. Holy shit, Mark Walsh. Holy shit, Mark Walsh, he's using Robert Fortin's darts, but he's not playing like Robert Fortin. Holy shit, 152 there. From Walshy boy to start the leg. And then a ton for Barney, so... you got to keep in mind that averages ain't going to be that high this match with the double in. They say, on a, they say it probably takes about 10 points off of your average, so we'll see. We'll see what we end up averaging. By that logic, we should end up averaging around about somewhere in the high 70s, but... Let's not worry about the average, let's worry about winning this game. I mean, Mark Walsh, after a great opening throw, that last time was absolutely diabolical from him. And uh, somehow we're still in a good position. You'd expect the way he got off with the one five two to you know kick start on, but it didn't really happen after the second throw, but it may have just been a poor visit. Come on, Barney. Two oh six left. Need to try and do the maths now. I think we need to switch to the treble eighteen. Two eighteens will leave the one seventy finish. And we've went and hit a one, so that's irrelevant now. That is going. And then we're going to the five, so. It was a good leg from us till that point. And now Mark Walsh in a great position to try and break through. Bangs out a ton 40, leaves 87. And all Barney can do now is just try and put pressure on Walsh and hope that he misses 160. So he only hits a, a 60 there, leaves a ton 40. And Walsh now, 70 remaining. Treble 10, going for double tops. And he's missed, right, so chance for Barney. Misses the treble 20, no chance now, just has to wait. I can't seem to hit a treble 20 here for some reason. Oh, finally we hit it last dart to set up double top. But Walsh will get the first throw at it, and he gets it. So Mark Walsh breaks throw in the opening leg. Of the Grand Slam. It looks like Barney's about to get slammed out the Grand Slam. I mean, Walsh looked pretty good in that double 16. Two out of two on it. Oh, and I've had table 20. I forgot about the double in. <laughs> that, that first table 20 won't count now, so... How disappointing. We're still ahead of Walsh, but god damn it. <laughs> ah, totally forgot about that. 
a good job I caught on though after the first dart. Would have been embarrassing if I'd like you bang on one eight and it didn't count. That's a good dart from Barney. Come on. That one's not good though. Well, neither's that, but a ton's not a bad score. It'd be great if we could break back straight away here. Get back on level terms. Walsh doesn't want that to happen though. Good dart from Barney, come on. Really good dart from Barney, can he bang in a 180? Oh, only a ton 40, but you know what, we'll take it. The way Walsh is playing though, we might need a, we might need a 180 there. Mark Walsh is letting us off big time here. Two ones, back to back ones. Holy shit, talk about giving us the advantage here. No, we need to just, just set this up, Barney. Come on, just a single ton even. And now we're, why are we all over the place? Oh, I remember we leave a, t a difficult finish, and if Walsh bangs in a, a good score here, then. Well, I, mean, I don't think he's banging in a good score. Yeah, he, he leaves the same as us, 1 4 1. We're going to need more than three darts for it at 1 4 1, that is for sure. God, we probably need more than six. Let's see, can we. Oh my god. Hit the 5, 96. For some reason, we, we like to get ourselves in a good position and just throw it away. Which is kind of annoying, it pisses me off. But uh, let's see here, can we bounce back? We need... What do we need? I'm going to go double-double. That was a bad idea. <laughs> we'll leave double top, but I think Walsh will I'll take this. He's been good in his doubles. I expect him to hit it. He misses the first one, second attempt. He gets the second attempt there just in. And Walsh now with a 2 0 lead here. In the, and it's only 55, so let's have a look at the averages. We're averaging 76, he's averaging 81. And you can tell he's a, oh, in a game. We forget about the double end and we had several 20, man. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, we don't even get off. No score. And Walsh again. Third time in a row he hits the double 16 first start. Oh, and then he hits another 1 5 2 like he did in the opening leg. Unfucking believable. From Mark Walsh. I bet he's never played like this in his life. Right, finally Barney gets away. I think the damage is already done here. Oh, I mean, Walsh still with those starts. He's, he's letting us back in for sure. 22. Right, Barney, come on, Raymond. Come on, Barney. Right, 180. Bang this in. First 180 of the match. Get in. There you go. Gets us right back in this leg. A leg that we need to win. If we lose this, well, that means two breaks are thrown. It's 3 0. 3 0 in the first of five is not going to bode well for you, but if we can somehow retain this leg and put Walsh under pressure, then. Ah. That's no bad, right? Come on, Barney. Another one really need it. Mm. We've left 170. We've left a finish. It's a finish I do not expect us to get anywhere near, but <laughs> it's a finish nonetheless. Hopefully, Walsh misses a treble here. And we have an opportunity, right? He only hits 60, so here we go, Barney. Treble 20. Another one of these would leave the bull for the big fish. We ain't going to get the big fish, but we could perhaps. Go for the build to leave double top. And we missed the build, but we do leave 65, so we have a chance, guys. We have a chance to try and make this 2-1. Mark Walsh cannot finish now after a poor first dart, but he's 
sure as hell going to put pressure on us. 55 remaining, right? Come on, Barney, just... Yeah, we go, we hit the 25, that's what we're aiming for now, double top. Oh, we've missed, come on, need to be a bit lower, Barney. Yes, come on, 2-1. Fucking show me that eye of the tiger, son. Let's go. Don't let the head drop, don't get depressed. Finally, Mark Walsh misses a double 16. But then as soon as I say that, he hits it with the second dart, so... Ah, oh, right, okay. Right, we need to try and get in here. That's good. Come on, Barney. Come on, Barney. 405. As long as you get away, I mean, that's the main thing. Getting the first first three throws, just try and hit the double. If you can hit the... Even hitting the double second dart, if you get a treble with the third dart, you know you're in a good position. And here, we've almost got the dart straight away because Walsh just hasn't been hitting heavy enough in the scoring department, so... Turn 40 for Barney. Puts the pressure on Walsh. Walsh then going into the single one. In the triple five, Walsh is there. I mean, I think he's feeling the pressure here. He knows he could have been freeing all up. And now, he could, now it could be 2-2. Two -two. Oh, Barney. That's better, our last start. Didn't leave a finish, but we Walsh on a 3-2-8. I didn't really feel like we should switch, but... Yeah, Walsh can't leave a finish now, so I think we made the right decision. Treble 20. 85 left. Uh, treble 15, I'll leave double top. And we get it, so they go. Double top to level the match. All Walsh can do is try and put the pressure on and sit and wait on Barney. I tell you what, he's put a lot of pressure on. <laughs> Turn 40. Oh, just over. Come on, Barney. Maybe just in off the barrel. Oh, yes, get in. Barney doesn't need fuel pressure. Barney's got this one in the bag. Uh, let's have a look at how the stats are looking now. Walsh averaging 83.33 and we're up to 84.88 with the double in, so shows you we're playing pretty well here. Oh, this isn't good. Missed two darts there. Will we switch for the double 16? Will we get away with the double 16? Walsh then misses the first start. Cameraman, cameraman should know by now that he's going for the double 16. And he gets away, same as us last start, so. Both guys away. Good last start, Barney then banging in the solid ton to leave 4 6 9. Walsh throws in straight away. Walsh is looking to leave something a lot better than that. 140 for Mark Walsh. That's a good bar for Barney right in the middle. Another well, ton. Tons might be enough if we keep hitting tons. We might be okay, but as soon as I say that, Mark Walsh, this leg has been hitting a lot of trebles. It's an odd turn 40, back to back 140s, look as if they're putting Walsh in a good position to take this leg away from Barney, but again, Barney in with the treble 20s here. Barney's shown that he's still got a lot left in the tank. 100, 189, please, 189. We really need uh, 19 here, would leave us 170. Although we really want the treble 19. We don't get it, but we leave the big fish again, so... We might need to take this big fish out. Walsh leaves 89. Well, the first one's in. The second one is in. Barney now for the biggest finish of them all. 
Oh, he's put it way 25. Oh my, I think that's twice we've done that. And now Walsh needs to treble 10, double top. He's surely got to go 20 though. Oh no, he's went for it. God damn it, Mark Walsh, brave. Very brave. And now double top to break bar, and he's missed by a mile. This is probably this is worth darting a double all game. And now we're, I think we're going to go one double 12 this time. I've never went for the double 12 in this career mode so far, but. And it looks like I'm not going to go for it now because we've hit the treble one. Disaster. Double 11 now. Outside the wire. And this time we get it inside. So Barney, three legs on the spin. Takes a 3 2 lead here. Against Marky Walsh in the Grand Slam. And Mark Walsh fails to get away, so this could be it. This we could put this game to bed here, you feel, if we go 4 2 up. Can we get in straight away though? No, first start ain't the best. But that one's in. And it was not the greatest score, but you know what? We got in, that's all that matters. Barney, come on. Why, every time we get in a good position, the trebles just seem to go missing for some reason. It's a treble as fizz, it's 58. And it just hands Walsh a chance here to get back at it. So, 140, Walsh takes that opportunity. Yeah, I'm going to go for the 19, so I'll just try and switch something up a bit. Oh, we've had a 7. That is, that is poor. And a 19, nowhere near the treble. Oh, I think we'll go back up to the double tops. That experiment on the 19th didn't work. I mean, don't get me wrong, we don't need to win this leg. But when Walsh didn't get in and we did get in, you know, we thought we had a great chance. But at the moment, not turning it that way. Can we maybe switch to the 18s here? Oh, we've had a four, man. What are we doing? Oh, I've left 300, I mean, for some reason, we cannot hit a big number. And Walsh is also beginning to dry up in the treble, so let's go, we're in here. Barney's in, Barney's looking good now, can he get his second 180 of the match? No he can't, but he does leave a 160 with that ton. 40 score, so opportunity to make it four for, uh, legs to two. Walsh leaves 106, we've got 160. We can't do it now, all we can do is set it up. Doesn't look like we're going to do that either. <laughs> nah, so just a 60 to leave a ton. Walsh on 106. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll have a chance at the ton. I mean, Walsh started well, but he's not finishing well now, is he? Let's be real here, huh? For Barney. Oh, he's got it. I didn't think that was in, but it's in. Double top then for a 4 2 lead. Double 10 for 4 2. Just sneaked in 4 2 Barney. He celebrates. Um, Mark Walsh went 81.29, we were down to 82, so you can tell the game is beginning to drop off in terms of stats, but we don't care about that. We're, we're one leg away here from victory. Going to go for a double 18 in. Oh, I've missed it by quite a bit here. Double 20 in. I've missed that by quite a bit as well. Um, double 16 in. Right, we got away We Mark Walsh's double. And Mark Walsh, who has been good on double 16, gets off on the second dart. Ton from Barney. 3 6 9 plays, 4 4 9. Spot on. But Mark Walsh isn't, he hasn't done yet, guys. He's, he's bouncing back here. 180. 
and he'll he'll want to take us to a, a last leg shootout. Alright, we're gonna have to switch to treble eighteens. So good dart, can we get another one? Great fizz there from Barney. Two treble eighteens, we get down to two four one. Come on, no treble 20, no. Got to keep him straight. Slop a rule. Pace you were ready in style. You require 141. Right, Barney, for the match. Treble 19, double 12. Oh, we've got it. This would be for a 1 4 1 finish. To, for Barney to win this match in style. Oh, Melody, Melody. Pressure got to us. And now Walsh with a chance. He needs treble 14 for double 16. Oh, he's the wrong treble. Mark Walsh. He's in the wrong bed. He leaves double 16, but Barney now with 12 remaining double 6. Barney with the opportunity to win this match. Barney bust! Fucking hell, Barney, what are you doing? Barney with a, an awful miss. But Mark Walsh is also missing. Scenes here in Wolverhampton, man. Fucking scenes. And there's scenes a joy for Mark Walsh. He gets a double last dart. Come on. He gets the gap down to 4 3 now. Let's see the averages. Our average actually went up a wee bit. We must have been banging in good scores. Mark Walsh, this is not what you need after getting back into it. He, he doesn't get away. But that's not a good dart from us, is it really? And neither is that. And neither is that. So if Walsh misses free, then we miss free. So Walsh gets away in his fifth dart and makes up for it there with a treble. So Pressure on us. Now we get away first. First start on the second throw. I have a feeling that if, if this goes 4 4, I just have a feeling that in the last leg, Mark Walsh is going to kick off with a 1 5 2, double 16 2, treble 20. So I need to try my best to make sure it doesn't go. Five, four each, and we can do that here by piling in a bunch of trebles like this. 140 gives us a decent lead, but then again, it's just been wiped out there by Walsh, who's banging in maybe a ton 40 of his own. He does, so yeah, we find ourselves now 80, 90, 99 behind. But here, with these trebles, we won't be behind for long. There. One point in front. <laughs> One point in front here. But Walsh with another treble. I mean, Walsh, Walsh guys. Well, that's a poor dart. I mean, I could haunt him big time. Well, that treble 20 kind of saves it. So, here we go. We need to just try and set it up. It looks like it's going to go to the last leg decider. Barney then. 127. May as well just stay here. 107 left. Um... So that's pretty oh, poor, but left 88. Mark Walsh now double 12 to make it 4 4. And he gets it, so there you go, guys. 4 4. It's going to go to the last leg shootout. Let's have a look at the averages. Mark Walsh is now increasing his average, but so are we. So the averages are actually going up. The quality of the game is getting better. 
I mean, we've dominated the ton scores. Mark Walsh is doing much better in the 140s, and it's 1 180 a piece. So here we go. Crucial that we've got to a good start this time. And we do. I mean, that is, that's what we need. That is fantastic, Barney. So is that. We'll take that all day long. We will take that all day long. 116 to start. But Walsh gets in away first dart, double 16. I knew he was going to get in first dart. He might not hit the two trebles like I was expecting, but he's away. But Barney now, if he doesn't hit a treble, he lets Walsh back in. And he lets Walsh right back in. Our lead won't be long disappearing if Walsh can have a two treble visit. Another one puts him in front. And there you go, so Walsh now leads <laughs> in this last leg. Good dart there for Barney though. I think so as well, Sid. Only a ton, only a ton. And Walsh again. Another treble 20. And another treble 20. Mark Walsh is beginning to pile the pressure on here. Barney probably needs a ton 40 minimum. He ain't getting it with that. There's one there. Right, we've, got to go. we've got to go for the bull here. Oh, if we went for the bull, I'm we need to hit the 25 to at least leave Shanghai. We haven't done that. We've left 1, 2, 6. Walsh on 1, 5, 4. We are going to, we're going to get a chance at it. It's not the easiest finish by any means, but it's a finish nonetheless. But Walsh hasn't really set that up, so he's only 94. Even if we miss this, we may actually get another goal. So we need a 19 now to leave the bull. We've missed, so 88 remaining. Treble 20 would leave double 14. And we don't even get that, so we leave 68 with Walsh on 94. Walsh now 76, needs to go treble 20, double 8. And he misses it, so chance now for Barney. 68 remaining, what way do we go? I think it's got to be treble 20, double 8. It has to be treble 8. Yeah, it has to, this has to be the way we go. Right, oh my god, 8 double, what did we do? Um, I'm gonna go 16 double 6. There, 16 double 16. Oh, oh no, I've hit the wrong thing. We've hit the double 16, now it's double 8 for the match. And we've got it, guys! <laughs> did not mean that, and we had to get that. Mark Walsh sitting on double top would have no doubt went out on it if we did not take that out there, but we did. Up their average to 83 and a half. And we got the job done just about in the end there. Um, big, big leg. Mark Walsh up in his game all the way through. He ends up finishing just behind us in the free dart average. But yeah, what a fantastic match. But we're through. We are win against Mark Walsh. Now he goes safely into the next round. Well, I wouldn't say safely, like, but we just about got through. Uh, Whitlock beats Wesley Newton, 5-1. Priestley beats Caven, 5-2. Osborne beats Painter, 5-4. Hamilton beats Vincent van der Voort. John Park loses to Yella Klassen. Yella Klassen has dropped down to 44 in the rank. Holy shit. Uh, Robert Fortin beats Paul Nixon, 5-0. Gobbins beats McDain, 5-1. The Bull, Jenkins beats Beaton. Dubridge is beating Bill Davis. Lewis beat Stompy 5-0. Colin Lloyd, Jaws has beat Lewis Blundell, whoever the fuck that guy is. And now guys we're into round two and we have been drawn against Simon Whitlock, the number two ranked player in the world. So it's gonna be Barney versus the Wizard. But first we've got Taylor versus Anderson, Ronnie Baxter versus Wade, a bunch of good games there. But that will be next time out guys, so at least we've won the first round, we should be guaranteeing ourselves a bit more of uh, prize money. And I'm interested, to see, we, we don't know what, we, we, how much money do we need, what ranking do we need to get into the, the World Championship, that's what I'm trying to figure out. It doesn't really tell me, no we don't want to quit. There you can see our average at the moment is an 83.05, I mean we're doing alright. We're doing no bad, we're playing decent darts I feel. 
Are we playing decent enough though to beat Simon Whitlock, guys? That's what I don't know. And you will find out next time in episode four. Can Raymond Van Barnefield beat the wizard? Next time out, tune in to find out. But until then, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. Appreciate it. And until next time, peace.